Hello and welcome to an Excel bot tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a combined class set and stacked bar chart in Excel. When visually comparing the values of multiple items, if the value of one item is greater than the total values of all the other items, you may want to emphasize it. You can do so by displaying the largest value in one bar and grouping the smaller values together in another bar in a combined clustered and stacked bar chart. To create a combined clustered and stacked bar chart in Excel, take the following steps. Firstly, arrange the data in a way in which it is sorted from largest to smallest, and the largest values that will be in a separate bar and the smaller values that will be grouped in a stacked bar are in two different columns. Next, select the data that you will use to create a combined clustered and stacked bar chart. On the Insert tab of the ribbon, in the Charts group, click on the Insert Bar Chart button and in the Open menu, click on the second option, which is a stacked bar among the 2D bar charts. Click Switch Row column in the Data group of the Design tab under Chart Tools to convert the inserted chart into a combined clustered and stacked bar chart. Reverse the order of the bars. To do that, click on the Chart Elements button. In the Chart Elements menu, hover your cursor over the Axis option and click on the arrow next to it. In the Open sub-menu, click on More Options. This opens the Format Axis task pane. By default, the horizontal axis is selected. Click on the vertical axis to select it. In the Axis Options section, tick the Categories in Reverse Order option. Next, remove the axis, the chart title and the grid lines by unticking these options in the Chart Elements menu. Change the legend position to the right. To do that, hover your cursor over the legend option in the chart elements menu and click on the arrow next to it. In the open sub menu, choose right to place the legend at the right of the chart. Finally, add data labels to the chart by ticking the data labels option in the chart elements menu. So, these are all the steps you need to create a combined clustered and stacked bar chart in Excel. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.